pretty good glassing for right now. You don't have any heat. Really. No. Colors are perfect. Yeah, he does. Yeah, his freaking horns don't do what I thought they did. From from that one, from head on, from certain angles, though, he's a stud. Mm -hmm. And then other angles, he's like, what the hell? Yeah, his right horn is just garbage. His, his main beam goes straight up, just like we kind of yep. saw last. The left antler's big, like bigger. Yeah, bigger. But it's still, his main beam goes way up before it even turns. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be a good cold buff right there. But. Yeah, he's what, 26 inches wide? Yeah, I figured about 26, 25, maybe 27, right in there. Yeah, he's got four points on his right antler. Oh, he does? Yeah, that he's got a little, that little crab uh, claw or uh, crawdad pincher up on the front. So that's why it's not as big as the other side. Yeah. It kicked an extra tine. Yeah, but it's not much of an extra tine. Yeah. I thought I saw that last night. But it's not a, it's not a legitimate four point. Yeah. You know? In lines. My, I, I, I hate three points that split on the G2s. So they got the back forks oh, and then, the and then main beam. Yeah. yeah. I, I, like I said, I'm a sucker for a big inline three point. Yeah, I never have given any thought to what makes a three point. I, obviously, you study a lot more. But yeah, big inline three point with a bunch of trash. I mean, looking at your Instagram photos and stuff, I mean, that's. It's pretty typical to find huge bucks that are like that. Mm -hmm. You know, and they may end up being a freaking 10 point, but they, that's how they can Right, they're a mainframe three. So what do you think Big Daddy, that one you spotted, what the hell's his deal? These two, don't you think he needs to come and take up a piece of real estate? Unless he's got himself a group too. I mean, they could be over in this next draw right here to our right. They could be over the next draw over here to our left. He's in this area though. That's just fucking crazy that it just started. I mean, it's just a switch that's flipped. Yep. I wonder why that other buck that you saw up on the ridge wasn't gathering his hair. I'm sure, I'll bet there's only one doe over there that's starting to come on. And this four point cut it out of the herd. Yep. That was just over on the rim again to the right, and there's it was three does at the uh, stock barn. Good morning, guys. Well, we're doing uh, the same thing. We're sitting on a hill, glassing until our eye sockets hurt. We got a couple bucks down below. One of the bu two of the bucks are uh, ones we've been seeing pretty consistently, but we got another one over here. We we haven't been able to get a good look at him, so we don't really know what he is yet. Just sitting here waiting for him to step out. He's behind some trees, but no luck. So here we go. We're gonna sit up here most of the day and. Uh, just cover country, move around the top of this big mountain here. Just trying to find something, something that gets him excited that he wants to go pursue. So stay tuned and see if this turns out for the best.